Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Lionel and welcome to Sweetest Valentine. This was another game that was suggested by you guys. So hey, thank you so much for just <laughs> Thank you so much for the suggestion. Anyway, let's get right into it. It's currently midnight, but I can't sleep. Not before I finish wrapping up the Valentine's Day gift for him. It's all wrapped up nicely. Now it's time to write the card. I hope you like the cake I made you. Made with love by... Well, my name's Lionel, so, hey. Made with love by Lionel. Oh, it's the day before Valentine. God. Ah. Oh. Cake up. Wake up. Hey, Lionel! Lionel! Wake up! Duh. Sheesh, how long are you going to sleep for? You'll be late for school. I can't come waking you up every time. What will you do when I'm not around? <laughs> Sorry, Ichigo. Ichigo's so cute! This is my childhood friend and neighbor, Ichigo. We've known each other for around 13 years now. Despite his looks, he's very dependable, and I catch myself relying on him all these years. He's like a little brother who acts like a mom, and I find that cute about him. You said sorry ages ago, but you kept sleeping like a log anyway. Come on, no more dilly-dallying. We only have like 15 minutes before class starts. After that, Ichigo drags me out of my bed and hands me my uniform. Upon heading to the bathroom, I glance at the planner near my table. Right, it'll be Valentine's Day tomorrow. My plan for today is to give someone a Valentine's gift and ask that person out on a date tomorrow. The thing is, I was torn between choosing two guys. One is Ichigo, and the other is a classmate and a friend of mine. Of course, I had to choose just one. It took me a while to decide, but finally made up my mind. I've already prepared a gift for him last night, too. And the one I chose is none other than... Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Lionel, you're spacing out. You know what? Fine by me. I guess I'll just leave you be if you want to be late so much. Wait, wait! I'll be ready in a minute. I promise. <sighs> we left my house as soon as possible. I only have time to eat some bread on the way to school. Yet even then, you spent all night playing video games again, didn't you? Don't call me out like that! I know you don't have a lot of friends, but sheesh. Ichigo's nagging me again. He's even insulting me! He's right, though. I don't have much friends. Stop calling me out! I also play a lot of video games, especially late into the night, but he got it wrong this time. Actually, I was making... Either way, you need to sleep earlier. Ichigo, stop being cute! Well, I suppose it'll be better if I kept it a secret for a while. You'll die before me at this rate. Now you're just being dramatic. Still, do you want that? I certainly don't. <laughs> uh, like, my answer here would be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, are you even listening to me? Sure, I am. Don't worry about it, shorty. Hey, I'm not the one who's short. Everyone else is just bigger. Besides, didn't you notice that I'm starting to grow taller? Uh, sure. Whatever you say, Ichigo. Our conversation continued until eventually the two of us made it to school. There's still many students walking inside the school gate with us, and that means we're far from late. We both went in and put our shoes in the locker, as usual. As we do so, I decided to ask. What's that about us being late, Ichigo? Well, you wouldn't get up if I told you otherwise. Come on, I've been waking up for years now. Threats are the best ways to wake you up. Fine, I guess it did work in the end. Unfortunately, we're in different classes. Ichigo is in class 3A while I'm in 3C. So we're about to head off on our own ways after this. Knowing that, Ichigo looks at me, ready to say goodbye. I'll be off now. Don't doze off in class. Okay, Mom. Have fun in class. You too, Lionel. <sighs> With that, both he and I walk away from each other. At class, some of my friends greet me as usual. I simply greet them all back, throwing some highs and hellos there with a small smile. But there's one person who manages to widen my smile, and that person is none other than... Lionel. Good morning. Good morning, Yusuke. This is Yusuke, the other guy I'm meaning to give a Valentine's present to. He's a popular student, if not the most popular student at school right now. And for good reasons, too. His grades are almost perfect. He's good at sports, he's handsome, he's rich, he looks like Dio. 
To top it off, his personality is killer too, like Dio. He's kind and polite, not to mention generous. Not, I mean, is Dio generous? I'm not sure. In other words, he's perfect. At least, that's how I've seen him. I'm very lucky to be in the same class as him. Many people are going after him, including me. I know the competition will be tight, and I'll be honest, that worried me. At least Yusuke and I aren't just classmates though. We're study partners and we're pretty close friends by now. Did you stay up late again, Lionel? You're in a rush to get up, didn't you? How did you know? Of course I do. Your braids look messier than usual. Still as keen as usual, I see. It still looks good, but excuse me. Huh? He reaches his hand out to my hair and lightly pats it. There. Sorry, there are a few strands of your hair stubbornly sticking out and I couldn't help myself. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Sheesh, that surprised me. My heart is beating hard right now. And I feel like some of my classmates are staring. It's really embarrassing. Ah, that's the bell. After saying that, Yusuke went to his seat, which is not that far from mine. In fact, it's just behind my seat. As he does so, he smiles at me. I'll be in your care today too, Lionel. Let's work hard today. Yeah. The teacher soon walks inside the class and begins teaching us. I try my best to pay attention, but in the end, I almost dozed off. And unfortunately, the teacher noticed. Lionel! Yeah! I immediately stand up. My drowsiness all gone. I'm sure you know when exam is coming soon. Yes, sir. Then if you're asleep, I'll take it that you've already understood the material. So please answer this question and... <laughs> so please read this question and answer it. I can only gulp at that. What are the three main types of plate boundaries? Darn, I already forgot what the answers are. Wait, plate boundaries? Then I feel someone poking my head lightly. Glancing down, I see Yusuke's note on my side of the table. Yusuke must have slided over while I was called by the teacher. Knowing that, I started reading from Yusuke's neat notes. It's convergent, divergent, and transform boundaries, isn't it, sir? Correct. I prefer it if you didn't have to look over at your notes to one, sir. But it means you're actually paying attention and properly taking notes, so good job. Yep, yeah, yep, that's exactly what's going on. I ain't, uh, I ain't cheating here. Thank you, good sir. I let out a sigh of relief before looking over at Yusuke. He's giving me a thumbs up. Really now? I should be the one giving him one. Thanks, Yusuke. I owe you one. Yusuke only waves his hand before he whispers back. I'm just happy I could help. Yusuke! Yusuke calmly stands up upon being called. No surprises there. He could easily answer any questions asked to him. Please answer a question to number five. Again, I don't know the answer to that. I really should stop paying attention in class. Huh. What's this? Yusuke seems to be hesitating. What's wrong? Don't tell me. I apologize. I wasn't paying attention. Almost everyone else in class gasp, murmur, or stare at Yusuke in disbelief, including me. I could only look at him with my mouth and cape. I don't think something like this ever happened before, as exaggerating as it sounds. Well, look, even the teacher is shocked. Please pay more attention, Yusuke. I'll let you off this time because you've always done well in my class. I suppose I'll explain this one myself. When class continues as normal and Yusuke sat down again, I looked at him and whispered, I'm sorry I can't help you even though you helped me. It's alright. It's not your fault. I wonder if he has something on his mind. Even with the most boring classes, Yusuke always paid attention and took notes. Or am I just overthinking things? Actually, are you feeling okay? Are you sick? It's... Yusuke trails off for a moment before he just shows me his usual smile. I'm fine. Don't worry. Before long, school is finally over. The teacher warned us so we don't go home too late. That we should go home in groups. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. Recently, people have gone missing over the past few years. The most recent case happened over a week ago. It could be murder, kidnapping, or people running away. The, pe the police aren't sure. Either way, I'm now outside of school, waiting for Ichigo. He's taking longer than usual. I wonder if he got called by a teacher or something. Or maybe Ichigo got kidnapped. Someone then bumped into me. Someone wearing a uniform. He drops a small, plain paper bag in the process. Hey, wait, you dropped this. I call out, but the guy just ran instead, as if intending to leave the bag to me. Is it a... is it a human head? What's in the bag? Just as I thought, I suddenly feel a tap on my shoulder. Oh, yes, Ichigo! Hey, Lionel, did you wait long? Ichigo! You surprised me! Those eyes, though? Am, am I the Andre? What's wrong? You seem jumpy. You're not usually so jumpy, are you? And what's that? What? 
Oh, a guy dropped this when he bumped into me. When I called out for him, he just ran away. I didn't see his face clearly to know who it was, too. What's that? That sounds suspicious. Or maybe he secretly likes you and he's too shy to give it to you directly. As if. He could just leave this on my table if that's the case. But doing that is really cliche, so maybe he wants to try something new. Why don't we open it to see if it's true or not? Just a peek won't hurt. Even if it's not yours, we might also find out who it's actually for. You're curious, right? Right? Yeah, I am. What's in the bag? All right, I look at the paper bag. Now that Ichigo is as curious about it as me, I couldn't help but to take a peek right here and now. Look inside. There's a box inside. From its appearance alone, it looks to be a Valentine's chocolate box you'd see in stores. But upon opening the box... What? Instead of chocolate... There's a dead bird inside. It's the cat person! <laughs> I was so speechless that I just stared at the carcass for a while. The poor bird's body is cut open, but it looks dry. It must have been killed at least a day ago. Then I realized that Ichigo hasn't said anything about it, so I just turned to him. The expression on Ichigo as he stares at the bird is unusual. I've never seen him like this before. He's really mad about this, that's for sure. Ichigo then forcibly took the box away from me. Putting the box's lid on top of it. You said the man bumped into you and left even after you called for him? I only nod. And you couldn't see his face. I only know that he has brown hair. That's it. He's got brown hair and pronouns. That's what he is. <laughs> Don't go anywhere alone for now. There's no telling what he might do. You know, there has been cases of missing people too these past few years. He might even be the culprit behind that. Yeah, I'll be careful. I didn't think of it at times like this, but... I thought that Ichigo actually looks cool when he's acting all serious like this. He made me feel better somehow. Ugh, Lionel, Ichigo. Oh, hello there, Yusuke. Oh, hi. That surprised me. Luckily, it's just Yusuke. Hi, Yusuke. You two are about to walk home, right? What's the holdup? People have gone missing after all. You two should be careful and go home quickly, too. Well, we were about to, but some creepy guy dropped this. Ichigo then holds the box up but didn't open it, which is good. I don't think Yusuke would appreciate seeing that. We were being nosy, so we checked inside the box and we found something we shouldn't in it. Huh? Something you shouldn't see. There's a dead bird inside. Pardon? You heard him right. Yusuke's facial expression shifts into concern as he looks at the box. Why would he put a dead bird inside a present box? To give it to someone. Make me think it's a harmless gift. That's what I think. The bad thing is... I think he's planning to give it to Lionel. He just dropped this as he conveniently bumps into her. That's all. Yusuke stays silent for a few seconds as if trying to process this. Lionel, this is crazy. He then puts his hand on my shoulder gently. Let's report this to the police. It may be a threat made towards you. It could even be related to the recent cases of missing people. Even if it isn't, it's still better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, I'm with Yusuke on this. I'll accompany you all the way until you're home. Now that I've been doing that all these years, I'll join you two. If we form a crowd, maybe that man will stay away from you. You two. Thanks to them, I feel touched and safe for now. It's obvious they're very concerned for me. But at the same time, what if worse comes to worse and he attacks you two? I also don't want them to be hurt because of me. Well, there are three of us. If one of us gets attacked or killed, at least two of us could escape to ask for help. Well, you're not wrong. Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. I'm just kidding. Besides, I'm not as weak as I look, you know. I can confirm. He's actually learning judo. He even won some tournaments in the past. He did? Yeah. Been at it since elementary school. Are you underestimating me, Yusuke? Just because I'm cute doesn't mean I'm weak and- Those eyes! Ichigo, don't! Well, you sure are full of confidence. Uh, I don't mean to look down on you. I'm sorry if it comes off as such. I find it impressive, though. And I will feel a lot safer knowing that you're learning judo. Thanks, Ichigo. You can definitely count on me. So, let's go now before it gets any darker outside. After paying a short visit to the police, the three of us went home. Let's just hope the police will do the job properly. I'm sure they will. Let's have faith in them. I don't know, but the way that one policeman looked at us before, it seemed like he's looking down at us. Well, there's been missing people around here. I'm sure the police have been busy. Ha! Huh, busy! They called me in and interrogated me for no reason a few weeks ago. They're definitely not busy. They did? Ah, yeah, that happened. It was really weird. 
Are you sure you didn't do anything? Are you down with me, Lionel? Ow! I'm a childhood friend, you know. All I'm saying is, if they have the time to do that, then they should have time to protect Lionel. I'm just worried about Lionel here. I won't be around all the time to keep an eye on her after all. Don't worry. By the time I'm home, I'll lock the door as soon as I can. And what if he breaks the lock or breaks through the window? Then already a knife near my bed or something. Well, your parents would notice by that time, so you'll be safe, I suppose. I'm sorry, did I say something I shouldn't? Nothing like that, it's just... My parents are always away from home. They're really busy. So are mine. Well, my parents are listed missing about three years ago. Ah, I remember. We are about 14 at the time. The day Ichigo's parents went missing, he seemed so down and depressed for some time. I think he has moved on, or at least he tries to not let it bother him so much. Oh, I see. I apologize. It's fine. It's not like you knew beforehand. Right, Ichigo? Yeah, I don't really mind. Before the conversation gets too dark, let's change the subject, yeah? I've actually wanted to ask you something, Yusuke. Me? What is it? I remember you used to go to the school and back with a car, but you've been seen walking instead these days. Why has the sun changed? Now that you mention it, I'm curious about that too. That? I just feel like I should be more independent. Whether I like it or not, my parents won't always be there to care for me after all. Ah, take the initiative, huh? That's admirable. In a way. Yeah, I agree. Thank you, but that's not the only reason. In fact, the main reason is because I want to, to accompany a good friend of mine. He used to walk alone, and I just thought that he might be feeling lonely. No, what happened to that? I'm not sure why, but he told me to leave him alone for now. So, here I am. Huh, I wonder who his good friend is. Yusuke has always been friendly to almost everyone. It'll be hard to guess. Then, I began to wonder if that's the reason why he made a mistake during class this morning. Ah, hey, sorry to interrupt, but we're here. Looking forward, I see both Ichigo's house and mine on site. Yeah, time sure flies. I suppose this is where we separate. That moment, I remembered something. Wait! The two boys freeze when they heard me, then proceed to look at me curiously. Yeah? First of all, thank you for accompanying me back home. Second of all, with everything happening, I almost forgot about the Valentine's Day gift. There may be someone threatening me, but... That won't stop me from my Valentine's Day date plan. Since I left the gift at home, I'll have to ask him to come inside with me. Of course, the person I choose is- Ichigo! Ichigo! Ichigo, can I talk to you inside my house for a while? Like, yeah, sure. In the end, I chose the safer option of the two. While I like Yusuke, I'm also afraid to be rejected by him. On the other hand, I know Ichigo wouldn't say no if I asked him out on a friendly date. We're childhood friends, after all. Yes, friendly date. <sighs> if that's the case, I'll take my leave first. Going home with you two is quite fun. I hope you don't mind if I join you again tomorrow. Well, the more the merrier. We'll keep you company until you and your friend meet up. Yeah, I don't mind us walking home together until graduation. Ah, <sighs> by then I'll probably be... Huh? Sorry, what did you say? No, it's nothing. Thanks, you two. Ah, once again, please be careful, Lionel. Yeah, be careful on your way back, Yusuke. Bye-bye. Well, what are you waiting for? Don't you have something to say? Come on in. It'll be quick. I bring Ichigo in with me towards the kitchen. Even without looking, I could tell that Ichigo is giving me a confused look right now. Are we here to talk or are we here to eat? Well, I definitely don't buy free food. Good, because I baked you a cake. A cake? I pull out the gift I prepared for him inside the refrigerator, along with the card. Wait, is there an event today? There isn't, right? Why are you acting like I'm that stingy? It's an early Valentine's gift for you. I want to give it to you now, because admittedly, you do have a ton of friends and admirers. My gift will be buried by the others, and you might forget my gift altogether like last year. Hey, who said I forgot? I was just saving it for last. Ah, uh, sure. Anyway, here. It's a favorite. Strawberry shortcake. Lionel, you truly do know me best. Thank you. I'll eat it first this time. Ichigo excitedly opens his box and takes a bite of the cake. Ugh, your cake always tastes amazing, Lionel. You know, if you kept praising me like that, I might just bake you sweets every day. Really? Do you mean it? I chuckle at that. This is what I meant when I say he seems like a little brother. It's always amusing when he switches between mom mode and little brother mode so seamlessly like that. And like a good older sister teasing her little brother as a must. Ask me nicely. Huh? So praises every day won't be enough? Nope. Then... Please... Huh... Good enough. 
I'll make you a cake once a week from now on. Yeah! Thanks, Lionel. Wait, that means I won't be able to eat your cake tomorrow? Actually, tomorrow will be a cheat day. We'll get a lot of desserts. Huh? If you come hang out with me tomorrow. Ha! <laughs> like a date? Something like that. Let's go on one. You have to school tomorrow. I'll come with. His immediate response makes me smile. Seeing him that excited makes me excited too. It made me forget about all the bad things that happened today. I wish tomorrow would come quickly. With that thought in mind, I sent Ichigo off to his own house, right beside mine before locking the door and heading to sleep. Oh, oh god damn it, why does Ichigo have to be so cute? Oh, no! I woke up early today, more precisely at 5 a.m. I know, surprising. I'm already in my uniform. My school bag is already on the sofa, and now I'm eating toast with eggs. It's a normal morning so far, which is always good. After finishing my breakfast, going to Ichigo's house became my first priority. He's usually the one coming to mind. He started picking me up for school ever since we were in elementary school. At first, he just knocked on the door. But going downstairs right after waking up is really tiresome, so eventually I just gave him the spare key. Imagine how surprised he'll be if I visit him first today. My excitement doesn't wane until I notice something unusual when opening my front door. It's unlocked. Why is it unlocked? My parents definitely didn't come home last night. I'm also quite sure that I locked the door then. Upon close inspection, the lock on the door seems to be forcibly broken. Don't tell me. That creep from yesterday. When the thought crosses my mind, the faint sound of footsteps can be heard outside. Without thinking much, I race to the kitchen and quickly snatch a knife from the kitchen counter. My heart is pounding loudly, and my hands are shaking. All I can hear is my heart right now. I'm just standing around in the kitchen, but I'm sure that creep will find me here soon. What should I do? Ambush! Ambush! When I see a shadow looming closer and closer, I only bite my lips and decide to ambush the creep first. It'll surely catch him off guard. If anything happens, I could say it's self-defense. Yeah, it's that guy's fault for breaking and entering in the first place. It's for a good reason. So I lunged at him. However, no! The person who walks in ends up being Ichigo instead. Before I can process what's going on, Ichigo's body slams onto the floor below. Red liquid, no. Blood begins seeping out from his stomach. Where I had stabbed him. Ichigo. Uh, ow! Ichigo, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stab you. Uh, Lionel. You hate me that much? What? No, it wasn't supposed to be you! Uh, shut up for a second! I'm calling the ambulance, so please! It's fine. Sorry. Ichigo. No freaking way! No! Alright, I'll stay and hide instead. I decide to hide under the table instead, while still tightly holding my knife. After staying like that for about a few minutes, I finally decided it'll be better to let the police handle this. So I take my phone out and call the police. However, something stops me from pressing on the dial button. Hello? Lionel! Whoever's calling me sounds familiar. Very familiar. My shoulders instantly relax after hearing that voice. After all, it's just Ichigo. Lionel, seriously, where are you? I'm over here. Wait a second. I put the knife back on the counter, first and foremost. I could accidentally stab Ichigo with it after all. Looking behind me, I see Ichigo standing near the door to the kitchen, ready to scold me. Lionel! Do you know how worried I was when I found your lock broken? To top it off, I couldn't find you in your room when I walked in. I thought you were kidnapped, or killed, or worse! Yes, sorry for worrying you. I thought you were the guy from yesterday, so I quickly hid here. Ichigo lets out a relieved sigh at that. Well, I'm glad you're okay, Lionel. But your door, I know. I'll report it to the police after this. Again. At this rate, the police will get bored of seeing me. Let's just hope this will be the last time you had to visit them. Also, waiting for your lock to be fixed and for the police to sort this out might take a while. During that time, um, why don't you stay in my house? Your house? It's not the safest place in the world. Sure, that guy might know you'll stay in my house. But at least it's better than being alone, right? Ichigo. If he comes to us, at least he won't die alone either. I would prefer us not dying. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to line up the mood a bit. But you're taking the offer, right? I don't want to drag Ichigo into this mess. Really, I don't. It's troublesome and dangerous for him. He literally died, like, just a few minutes ago. 
If anything bad happens to Ichigo because of me, I don't think I'll be able to forgive myself. So it's probably better if I don't involve him at all. Hey, Lionel, you're thinking that you don't want to involve me in your problems, don't you? You knew? We've been friends for so long, of course I know. Sheesh, you're just too nice for your own good sometimes. Stop that! Just pack your things and move into my house, right now! While saying that, Ichigo holds my hand and drags me upstairs. Ichigo, wait! No waits, no buts. I know you mean well, but try thinking about it from my perspective. If something ends up happening to you, how do you think I'd feel? Sad? Exactly! I feel guilty too. Even though we're close, I can't do anything to help you. Do you want that to happen? No, not at all. Only after hearing my answer that he smiles and lets my hand go. Good. Then, I'll wait for you outside your room as you pack up. Yeah, thanks. As I pack up, I begin to think. It makes sense for him to be so insistent on in helping me. For me, I don't have that many people I care about in my life. My parents left me and I don't really care about most of my classmates. The one most important to me would probably be Ichigo. He's one of the few people who care about me. That's why I really don't want anything bad to happen to him. I've always thought that since Ichigo had a lot more friends, he'll just see me as nothing more than his childhood friend. Apparently, I might just be as important to him as he is to me. I guess I've underestimated how much he cares for me, even after all this time. Finally, after getting some of my clothes and important things into my bag, I left my room behind. It took us an hour. From packing to reporting to police, it took us one hour. That means we're already late to school. By the time we arrive, the gate is closed shut. Ichigo. Huh? I don't feel like getting scolded right now. Then I just remembered. Ichigo can be quite the goody two-shoes when it comes to school. I want us to just skip school today, but I guess it's impossible. Should we just ask them to let us in? Well, if you ask me, then no. Wait, what? What? What do you mean no? Aren't you usually the one kicking me to go to school? Wait, no. Who are you and what did you do to Ichigo? That response is kind of pissing me off. Look, today starts off horrible already. Today is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be our date. He then grabs my hand and drags me away to school. So, let's just make it better. Let's start our date already. Let's go around town and do whatever we want for today. Ichigo. Yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, hell yeah. We walk around until we stumble upon a small, yet cute looking donut shop. The shop just opened yesterday, right? Yeah, one of my classmates said that it was really crowded with students yesterday. But now since everyone's at school, we can enjoy the donut shop all to ourselves. Getting all fired up, Ichigo drags me inside the small store. Despite being small, the shop impressively serves many varieties of donuts. There's one with strawberry jelly, lemon filled, chocolate frosted, how did you fill a whole lemon inside a donut? I mean, I guess you just shove it through the hole or you just like shove a whole lemon in the donut. I, I don't know. There's a good old classic sugar donut too. My favorite. What are you ordering? Sugar? Yeah. You? Strawberry jelly? Close, but not quite. I'm getting choco strawberry frosted. Of course you are. After getting the donuts we ordered, we leave the shop and continue to walk around aimlessly again. Seeing Ichigo immediately opening his donut, I do the same. Man, I really want to try every single donut there, especially the strawberry flavor at once. Yeah, every donut looks so good there, but we'll have to keep our stomach empty if we want to eat more sweets later. But you sure do love your strawberries. Living up to your name, huh? They're really, they're really good though. I'm happy my parents named me after strawberries. You should try out the flavors sometime though. See, he's the one who's always getting boring sugar donuts every single time. Fine, you got me there. After eating a few bites, I see Ichigo eyeing at my donut, then at me. Hey, do you mind if I take small bites of donut? Didn't you just say you're... Didn't you just say they're just boring sugar donuts? Can I still try anyway? Please? Fine, here you go. You cutie! Stop! Munch! He leans back, chews on it for a while, before his eyes sparkle. This one is actually not boring. What did I tell you? You win this time, so... Can I get another bite? No, you'll end up eating my whole donut. Please? Fine. But only one more bite. Yay! Thanks, Lionel. I'll repay you by treating you at the next stop we shop by. I mean, the next shop we stop. <laughs> what, really? Then, let's eat Wagyu beef. Yeah, that's a no. Do I look like I'm as rich as Yusuke to you? 
Hey, you said any shop, so... It should go open to his mouth as if to retort back. However, he didn't. Instead, he turns around and scans the area behind us. It should go. What's wrong? Lionel? There's... There's what? Oh! Hey! Look there! It's our favorite cafe! Let's stop by there instead. Yet again, he excitedly drags me with him. Hey! Slow down! Nope. I'm still hungry. Let's eat lots there. You sure run like you're not hungry, though. With that, both of us decided to eat and chat there for quite some time. That seems a little sus. Not gonna lie. Why? Why is she... I have to go soon. What about her? No, I've done what I could. Who I should worry about is... Damn it. In a blink, the sun has started to set. Everyone in our school should be out by now. I wonder how Yusuke is doing. I hope he's not lonely from walking back home by himself. As for us, we kept snacking until now. With our stomachs finally full from desserts, we agreed to st stop visiting places with food until dinner time. Speaking of a full stomach, Ichigo. Yeah? All this walking is making my stomach hurt. You ate too much, huh? Yeah. We you ate more than me. Does your stomach not hurt? Nope, I feel absolutely fine. Seriously, your stomach is like a black hole. Which is great! But since you're not feeling well, let's rest up a bit. Ichigo then gasps. That place seems about perfect. He, he's pointing at a playground park. But not just any playground. It's the playground where we used to play when we were younger. Just one step in and a wave of nostalgia is already hitting me. This brings back memories. Too bad we stopped visiting when we were in middle school. Yeah, we never really passed this park anymore ever since. Ew, this place is dirtier than it used to be. At that, Ichigo starts picking up litter around the playground diligently. Seriously, kids these days. You're acting like a grandma. I just don't like seeing this place like this. I have many good memories here after all. I guess it's just my way of repaying it. Well, this place did give me good memories too. Sighing, I decide to join him despite my hurting stomach. Isn't your stomach hurting? You can just sit back, you know. Just a little will be fine. Seriously. You're still as stubborn as you were back when we were in elementary school. I remember how you kept doing the feeding the class's pet rabbit by yourself. You won't even give the others, not even me, a chance to feed her. Hey, I had a good reason for that. Our classmates kept overfeeding or forgetting to feed it at all. So screw them. I'll just feed it myself. Yeah, but in the end, she died, huh? I still remember. Some bully cut her stomach open. Ew! Yeah. Enough with the depressing talk. Weren't you the same? You've always wanted me to be with you, whatever it is you're doing. Yeah, at one point, didn't you even ask me to go to the toilet together with you? Sh shut it. That's... It's, it's embarrassing. Why? I think it's cute. S still, come to think of it, you weren't as outgoing as you are now, right? You used to be super quiet and shy. You were always sitting on the corner, brooding over something. Even I, the quiet one, felt bad for you and approached you. Y yeah If you didn't approach me, I'd probably stay that way. Huh? You serious? Well, after all, you're... What the hell? Why is he being so shy? It actually made me nervous and shy too. What's with this awkward atmosphere? It's like he wants to confess or something. Yeah, like that'll ever happen. Uh, would you look at that? The park is clean now. Good job for us. Uh-huh. Here, wipe your hands off. I hand him a sheet of wet tissue and using one more for myself before we take a rest for real this time. Sitting on the swings, my curiosity suddenly kicks back in. So, what were you saying before? Huh? You're about to say something to me. W were you still hung up on that? Sheesh. Why not? I'm curious. If things get awkward, don't blame me for it. But, as I was just saying, I used to be lonely. At home, even though two of my parents are there, I was still lonely. Oh, this is the first time I'm hearing this. He rarely talks about his home life to me. My mom used to work day and night, and she expects me to be mature. My dad... Anyway, I wasn't allowed to act childish and selfish. If I do, things might fall apart. So I just stay quiet, acting like a good child. Even in school, I don't want to cause trouble for my parents, so I kept being quiet. But because of you, I could act childish and freely. You were also always there for me, from back then till now. Lionel, you were like, you were like a light to me. Gosh, you're right. This is awkward. I don't know what to say, huh? 
Wait. Why don't? Can I make it even more awkward anyway? <laughs> huh? Ichigo takes a deep breath in, then out, as if bracing himself. Afterwards, he looks me in the eye. Since a long time ago, I've always, always loved you. Even though I know you don't feel the same way I do. Who, who you like, it's, it's Yusuke, isn't it? You've always been so obvious, Lionel. That time you fell for our class president during our third year in middle school, and now Yusuke. I know it, yet I still love you anyway. So you can go ahead and reject me right now. No hard feelings. Uh, that's, that might be true, but there's no harm in giving it a go. Ichigo, it's true that I don't love you that way, yet you're important to me. Not only that, I know Yusuke doesn't love me back. What I'm saying is, I'm willing to give it a go. What? I'm just... Enjoy... I just enjoy being with you and... I don't know, I'm willing to try becoming a girlfriend and see where it goes. Seriously? Yeah. Hey, see something already. Are, are, are you just gonna leave me hanging? Sorry, I was just processing it. I mean, who would've thought? Lionel, thank you for giving me a chance. You have no idea how happy it makes me. Yeah, sure. That day, Ichigo and I started dating. Surprisingly, despite going from close friends to lovers, we got over the awkwardness quickly. Eventually, I came to notice how much he loves me. He's even more considerate and caring when we started dating. It's enough to make me fall for him. A few years after that, we started living together. Things seemed to be better from now on. We're both happy. Until the police suddenly showed up one day. They grabbed and forcefully cuffed Ichigo, accusing him of multiple murders. What? Ichigo didn't deny it. In fact, he just looked back at me with a bitter smile as he was dragged away by the police. Lionel, I'm sorry. This is actually who I am. A murderer. I'm afraid you'd loathe me if I told you the truth, so I've always stayed quiet. I know it's selfish, but as long as you love me, I'm willing to do anything. Thank you for these past few years. I was happy. Now, I'm satisfied. I feel like I could die peacefully now. Goodbye. And just like that, they took him away. I'd hoped that he'd spend his time in jail at worst. However, after some time passed, all my hopes are crushed. Ichigo, he... I need a moment. God. So, would he survive if I told him, why don't we just stay friends? God freaking damn, just... Alright. I'm sorry, Ichigo. Let's be friends. I never really loved you as a lover, Ichigo. This might sound harsh to you, but can we still be friends anyway? Yeah, of course. I'm really sorry. Sheesh, stop apologizing already. Don't think of it too much, Lionel. Like I said, I knew this was going to happen. And... I felt a thousand times better after I let my feelings out. So let's continue on being good friends, Lionel. Yeah. Ichigo suddenly gasped, looking at the street ahead. I did hear two people talking faintly. Wait, is that Yusuke's voice? Before I have any chance to confirm, Ichigo starts grabbing my hand and starts dragging me somewhere else. Ichigo, what's the matter? Shh, just come with me. The two of us run away. Well, it's more that Ichigo drags me away for whatever reason. We've ran for a while now. How long are we going to run? Hey, Ichigo, don't you think we're going too far? What's wrong anyway? That was Yusuke's voice, right? Ichigo finally stops. He catches his breath and just lets out a weak chuckle. Uh-huh. I just... Uh... Since today is our date, I don't want Yusuke to be annoying us. Really? Yeah, come on. You'll just see him tomorrow anyway. Today is just for the both of us. No buts. Well, if you say so. Also... We're already in front of our houses. Oh, you're right. We might as well go home then, huh? Come on, Lionel. Let's get inside. You really need to stop dragging me. Sheesh. Never told him this, but I like being in Ichigo's house. Mine is a modern house, and his is still pretty traditional and small. It gave his house a really cozy and nostalgic feeling. The faint smell of tatami always soothes me whenever I came here. Don't worry. I've locked the door and closed all windows. Oh, that's right, today it was so eventful that I forgot about the creep halfway through the day. If that creep still tries to come here, I'll kick his ass! 
Ooh, here comes Judo Master Ichigo. You know, I'll be honest, you don't look very intimidating. Lionel, are you mocking me? I'm just saying, you need to look cooler and manlier to be able to pull that off. Maybe if you look more like Yusuke. Wait, damn it, after what happened earlier, I shouldn't be saying that. He even went as far as to avoid Yusuke at the playground earlier. All I'm saying is, you look too cute to be intimidating, okay? Huh, one of these days, I'll have a growth spurt that impress you, Lionel. Good, he doesn't seem to take it seriously. Oh, right, I suddenly remembered. I know I've said this every time you visit her, but let me remind you again. Don't go inside my parents' room, okay? Yeah, I know. Great. Ever since his parents went missing, he made this rule and always made sure I follow it. Of course, I'm curious, but privacy is still privacy. I don't want to be rude. I'm sure it's just because he doesn't want to be reminded of his missing parents. That's all. I'm pretty sure it's for another reason. Later that night, I suddenly woke up. Looking around, I don't see Ichigo anywhere. Even though we're supposed to be sleeping in one room. Yeah, whatever. He probably just went to the toilet. Think it that way. I just went back to sleep. Hey. You have a death wish, don't you? What are you on about? I don't know who you are, but I just happened to pass by. Don't play dumb. I know all about you, Haruto. Including what you saw that day. Wh what? I'll admit, you're good at hiding. When I chased you that night, I panicked a little because I couldn't find you. But I got lucky. By the 3rd of February, I knew it was you who saw me. But how? I didn't tell anyone except for... The police? They told me themselves that you're the one who reported it. We're pretty much on the countryside, Haruto. The police here are stupid. That's your only yet fatal mistake. It's easy to fool the police too. I just need to do my good, vulnerable child act. And they'll eat everything up. Is that what happened to that girl as well? That girl? You mean Lionel? I tried to tell her that you're a murderer. Yet she's still with you. Oh, and how exactly did you try to tell her? By giving her a dead bird? Dead... Bird? Yeah, a dead bird. There's a dead bird inside the Valentine's gift you left her, see? Huh? Did... Did you switch out the back? But how? Since when? Not to mention, you broke her lock too, didn't you? So is that what you're doing? Trying to frame me? Exactly. It's all because you tried to tell Lionel about it. If you didn't, I'll probably let you be. I would have just let you run away to Tokyo tomorrow if you love her. But you had to pull that stunt instead. You, you even knew that? You, you really are a monster. Look, I swear, I won't tell anyone or, or bother that girl again. Just let us go to Tokyo. The more people you kill, the more evidence you leave, right? And how will you guarantee that? Besides, you really need to learn how to be subtle. W what do you mean, with your left hand hiding in your pocket like that? I know you're recording this entire conversation. If you weren't planning to expose me, then what is that for? Damn it. I'm sorry. It had to be done. Day three. Goddamn. Upon waking up, Ichigo is still not here. That alone is enough to make me panic. What if the creep went after him? What if he went missing? Then it'll be my fault. I can't let that happen. I can't afford to have my best friend disappear because of me. I searched the entire house. Even then, there's still nothing. Calling him doesn't work either. I paced around the house, wondering if I should call the police. While doing that, I stepped on something sticky underneath. There's a drop of blood on the tatami. N no, not just one. There are trails of blood droplets leading to the one room Ichigo forbid me to enter. His parents' room. I don't want to be rude, but what if Ichigo's hurt? What if he's dying in there? <sighs> Before I finally make up my mind to... You know what? Let's, uh... Let's enter! Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's go enter the room! I quickly enter the room, only to find it empty. The atmosphere inside feels... off somehow. The fact that everything is dusty doesn't help. It smells awful, too. Like the smell of an animal that's been dead for a day. Did Ichigo never clean his room? Huh. One of the Tami mats are ajar. The blood droplets seem to be heading there, too. Seeing that, I waste no time to open it. Under it is a secret passageway. 
Sounds cool, but it's just a passageway leading to a crawl space underneath the house. They must have built this in case of an emergency. The smell is getting stronger when I open it, though. It's really dark under here. What if I find a dead body there? The thought makes me pretty nervous, yet I feel excited. I was about to jump into the crawl space, but before I could... Lionel? Hearing that, I immediately looked behind me. Did I tell you not to enter this room? Seeing the blood on him makes me so surprised that I fell back. It didn't take me long to connect the dots between the corpse-like smell and the fresh blood on him. He just killed something. Or someone. As I'm on the ground, Ichigo starts to walk closer towards me. All I can do is just scoot backwards until I feel my back hit the wall. That look on you. Are you scared, Lionel? Well, you don't have to be. After all, I killed that creep that you were so scared of. Here, I'll show you. Ta-da! See? He's dead now. And, uh... The rest of his body is just below this house. How do I know it's this guy? Actually, he was snooping around the house last night. So, we fought and I accidentally killed him. So then, am I going to be next? What? I know now that you're a murderer. As I try to stall him, I look around for any weapon I can use against him. I really don't want to hurt Ichigo, but if he's going to kill me, then it's a different story. Why? For how long? It's just this once, Lionel. But that's besides the point. I'm not going to kill you. Huh? The reason why I kill is for you in the first place. I killed this creep just for you, Lionel. So that you'll be safe. That's how much I love you, Lionel. The police is incompetent anyway, right? They haven't done a thing, right? Please, believe me, Lionel. So you did it. Because of me? Yeah. And you swear you won't kill me. I swear it with my life. Ichigo. Huh? If you were planning something like this, you should have told me sooner. You, you took another person's life just for me? Do you love me that much, Ichigo? Lionel, what do you mean? Answer me! Y yeah? Sheesh. If I knew you loved me that much, I would have fallen for you in a heartbeat, Ichigo. So... So? So what? Who are you planning to kill next? Lionel, don't misunderstand. I, I don't want to kill if there's no good reason at all. And if it's not like I'm a serial killer, don't lie to me. What? Ichigo, I knew you used to be squeamish. When you were little, you can't even look a dead rabbit without gagging. And now you're able to smile as you hold that guy's head. Did you say this is the first time you've murdered someone? Liar. Come on. Be truthful now. You don't need to lie out of fear, Ichigo. Tell me what actually happened. Ugh. Tears stop to well up in Ichigo's eyes, and eventually, he breaks. It, it happened when we were in middle school. My parents, they were fighting and they were about to divorce each other. Despite my hard work, keeping my dad's affair a secret. Even though I hated every minute of it. I, I don't know what happened. When I came to, I, I have a knife in my hand and my parents were already... Then, you hid their bodies? Uh, I, I wanted to turn myself in, but... Then, what about you? I, I thought you'd hate me if you knew about it. I can't. If you're going to hate me, I, I'd rather just die. In the end, I made a resolve that nobody can know. So I started killing people who have gotten close to exposing me. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ichigo trails off before he continues to sob. Ichigo, despite acting tough sometimes, deep down, he's still as soft as he was before. For a few years, he has been keeping this from me so that I wouldn't know. I wonder how he could stay sane until now. Lionel? There, there. You don't need to hide anymore. Since you've confessed... I guess I should confess too. Ever since I was little, killing animals has always been fun to me. It's gone so bad that one day, my parents were afraid of me and ditched their responsibility to raise me properly. The rabbit when we were in elementary school, that was my doing too. So we're both monsters, in a way. And I don't mind bearing the burden of becoming a murderer together with you. Lionel. Really? Yeah. You're important to me, Ichigo. You actually hate this, right? I don't mind becoming a knife when you hesitate. That's why 
You don't have to bear it alone, okay? Oh, okay. Ever since that day, we became partners in crime and lovers. After burying Haruto's mutilated body, the two of us ran away to make it seem as if we were one of the missing people. Moving around to new places and using fake identities slowly became the new normal for us. What? Hey, did you hear? Hear what? You know that strange missing people in that one small town? They said they're starting to discover their bodies. And they've been horribly mutilated. The killer's still on the loose too. Oh, come on. Can't you at least act more scared? Whoa! Oh, hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Be careful when you walk, okay? And be careful about talking about a killer too. Huh? You heard that? Of course we did. You talked about it pretty loudly. If the killer happened to be around, they might kill you too, you know? D don't scare us like that! Us? Uh, I think you meant yourself. Ouch! We're as cool as ever! <laughs> ah, youth. Well then, we'll get going. You two should go home quickly too. It's getting dark out. Thanks, Auntie. Come on, let's go back. Auntie! Am I that old? Have I been killing for that long? She called me Auntie. Do I look that old? Yeah. Well, we will turn 22 this year. Ah! My heart! No! I can't be that old! I guess you're right. It's not that old, but from a kid's perspective. Then yeah. Even then, you'll always be beautiful in my eyes. Shut it, you. Alright, alright. So, do you have an idea where we should move next month? Uh, it is Kurushiki after all. I can't stop thinking about how nice it'd be in the countryside. Well, Kurushiki it is then. True end. Partners. Holy hell! Damn! Oh, God. Did I... Did I expect it to be like this? No. Am I glad it ended this way? Yeah. Well... <laughs> that was Sweetest Valentine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want a part 2 of this, uh, where I cover the rest of the routes, let me know in the comments below. If there's any other games you want me to try out as well, yeah, that, that's where you should let me know. And anyway... Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And I will see you in the very near future. This is Lionel, signing off. Ciao.